Okay, what is up guys? This is Bosinsbo, aka Techron Monterosso, and welcome to part 5 of our Pokemon Live playthrough. Last time, we battled Professor Sycamore and got our Kanto starter, and the Mega Stone that went along with our starter. So we'll want to go to the first floor and exit the Sycamore Lab. Going to be meeting up with Lysa. Lysandra. Uh, man, I can't speak. I need to move the camera. Sorry if the. I'm going to be moving the camera a lot. Trying to. Add a new camera. Focus. So you'll see my sentry walk out. So now we get and here comes the other. So, so everyone's gonna walk out. And here comes Gierno. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's the, there's the cafe. So we want to go to this cafe right over here. If I'm, if I'm correct. No, it's not this one. Uh, sorry, I was like, it's been a while since I last played this game. <laughs> We definitely do not want to go into the Pokemon Center. But instead, I want to go. We want to go. We want to go up to Serena and follow her into the cafe. So, so we meet up with Lysandra and Diantha. Yeah, with Lysandra, like, I kind of have a fishy feeling of it. So, Diantha is one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. And she's... And she'll mention something else, too. So, Serena will introduce herself. And she'll know. And she's a trainer herself. And if she meets by someday, she means somewhere else that will get to far later on in the playthrough. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, but those who have played Pokemon X and Y and the game should know where. So we will want to go to Route 5 and we'll get a holo clip.
So he's gonna tell us to check out what's in Route 5. And we have Squirtle up front, so that way he can get some training. So we'll meet Mr. Bondings, who will give us O powers. I don't necessarily use them. Use the oak powers anyway. And we'll run into a Lucario. <laughs> and it'll circle around us. And <laughs> and be current. So he so she is one of the she is one of the gym leaders in the game. So the Lucario will look at it as well. So show you what Pokemon there is. So there's a Pam Channel. be able to battle these two and get through is if you have two Pokemon, two or more Pokemon with you. Uh -oh. So, these two trainers will have plus one and minus. out the Fennekin since Pidgey is weak to electric type. Same for Squirtle, but if I take the risk of the Pidgey in, Pidgey in and switching Squirtle, it will be a big problem. And that's for okay, so He's gonna be using the clipping here. Oh wow, that ember did well. So 
those are two are gonna gain up on my Fenton. is level 11. Oh, wow, level 12. And Fennekin is about to level up. Now, and Piggy is level 14. So, okay. So my name is now pro. Now we have gained more experience. And Squirtle is level 13. And we're gonna try to learn Bubble. Now we do not need withdraw. Tail will tail wheels will be needed, so we can forget withdraw and learn bubble. And Fennekin is gonna level up, so that is good for a team. And Pidgey is now level 15. Getting close to evolving, but not quite yet. And what's this? Fennekin is evolving. Yes, Fennekin is going to be the first Pokemon to evolve in our team. As Fennekin will, as Fennekin will evolve into Brightson. There we go, and there is our Brightson. It will, it won't learn any moves. So let's look at our, so let's look at our Brightson. Oops. And Brightson. So it has the same moves, same moves as usual, but its stats has increased, mostly speed and special attack. All these stats increase, including HP, but mostly special attack and speed. Just like usual, nature stamps the same. Restore. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that. And Braxton won't need any healing, so leave Squirtle up front since it will need some training. And we automatically run into a wild Pokemon. And we run into a Skittle. He's a no, 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 Skittle. I'm good for my collection. Oh, yeah, it's still. Mm. So let's see how much this tackle does to get up. It does a good, decent amount. Oh, gross. That could do a lot of damage to spread up. So, we want to take down the skill as much as possible. Okay, so the skill's going for a tackle. It will have bind web, so if you have a water type up front, you better be careful. So there we go. I didn't try to catch the Skittle yet since we already have Squirtle to deal with rock type Pokemon. So now we run into Dierno. And they're gonna be talking about Pokemon Horde. We are going to battle Tierno. He is going to have a corfish. 
So this is perfect chance for Storm to level up more and maybe evolve. So I'm gonna start off with a tackle. See how much it does. Doesn't do too much. Ooh, vice grip. It definitely might do a lot, so one more tackle. Oh, and you better be aware of the of the sword stance. So we'll definitely have to go for a potion. So the perfect issue is a little bit cool. Oh, whoa! Yeah. So we're probably going to need to get some potions when we get to the next city. Should. Okay, so one more tackle should do it. It's where we'll be able to outspeed and take down the core fish. And that is the po only Pokemon Dierno has. So you don't need to worry about switching into another Pokemon. which is good for attracting hordes. So, I would recommend using the honey for only attracting hordes when you need to, when you only need to EV train. So, okay, so, so now we're gonna battle this trainer. Who's a rising star, and he has a cadaver. So it is obviously going to outspeed Squirtle. Not very defensive, so it is going to be end as it's going to use Kinesis. It's going to use confusion. Ouch. I don't know. Breaks him. Do a couple flame charges. Now level 14.
pretty sure we have one more trainer left. And he has a Badoof. Since Badoof has high defense, but one of lowering. So he's gonna go for a tail whip. Like Badoof is obviously gonna lower our attack. Back to one stage down. See how much this water gun does. It won't get to do much. It does a decent amount, so well did not affect the special attack, so that is good. So one more will basically take down this Badoof. So we are going to send out Pidgey. is about to level up, but it's not going to evolve at level 16. So, it will not kill. Uh oh, sweet. That's going to lower the evasiveness, so that's not good. But the gust hits, and that is going to end that battle. So, Pidgey is now level 16. Now, all my Pokemon are pretty close to leveled up together. Another trainer. And then a pancake. Uh oh. That's not good for Squirtle. And it has a play nice. Well, that's not a good part. Ooh, ouch. And that did 14 HP. So we're, we are going to set out Pidgey to take whatever to the bottom it with. And it goes for the play nice instead. That's a bad move. Yeah, so instead of fighting the wild Pokemon, we are going to swim. Okay, so we are getting a hollow clip. Hollow clip. So that's basically gonna end it all for today. So if you did, if you liked it, please rate, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time.